Hello clients and friends, this is Billy Doty from Doty Financial once again. And it's my pleasure to present our first quarter economic review. At our firm, we partner with clients and believe an educated client is our best client. While we will always try our best to help you, when it comes to your finances, we believe that knowledge is power. One of our missions is to share with clients any knowledge that can better help them make an informed decision. The first quarter of 2023 had investors sitting on the edge of their seats as the equity markets took them on a bumpy ride. The first three months of 2023 were a classic example of volatility that can be very prevalent in equity markets. Despite a banking crisis, an initial uptick in inflation rates, additional increases in interest rates, and economic uncertainty, U.S. equities still managed to end the quarter on a high note. The Dow Jones Industrial Average ended the quarter up 0.4% after rising 3.2% in the last week of the quarter, its largest one-week gain since the week ending November 11, 2022. The S&P 500 rose 7% during the first quarter, which is its best three-month performance since the fourth quarter, fourth quarter of 2021. The current volatility of markets is clearly something investors need to be aware of. In fact, 2022 was a year in which the equity market saw many movements of 1% or better either up or down. And 2023 has already started with a high number of highly volatile days. While this level of movement can be a great attraction for media outlets, it can be unnerving and distracting to long-term investors. Despite the first quarter's strong performance, inflation rates remain at levels still well above the Fed's 2% target range. The U.S. annual inflation rate was 6%, for the 12 months ending February 2023, following a rise to 6.4% in the previous period, according to U.S. Labor Department data published March 14, 2023. Most economists are hopeful that future figures will show that inflation slowed down even more. As anticipated, the Feds raised interest rates this first quarter. The good news is the rate at which they increased the range was not as steep as last year's rate hikes when inflation peaked in the summer. On February 1st, we saw a quarter percent increase, bringing the interest rate range to 4.5 to 4.75 percent. Then again, in March, the rate was increased by another quarter percent to a range of 4.75 to 5 percent. The March increase represented the ninth rate hike since March of 22. Although the inflation rate is starting to show signs of improvement, the Fed has stressed that we should not declare victory on inflation too soon. At their last session, they shared they still expect to bring federal interest rates to 5.1% by the end of 2023, which means that they expect another rate hike before they pause. As a reminder, the inflation rate was 6% in February, down from 6.4% in January. As your financial professional, we're committed to keeping a vigilant eye on all aspects of financial planning that may affect you, including interest rates and inflation. Treasuries took a hit when the shutdown of Silicon Valley Bank, the biggest bank failure since the financial crisis triggered many investors to run for cover in safer assets, such as government bonds. <clears throat> On the Monday after the Silicon Valley Bank collapse, the two-year Treasury yield posted its biggest three-day drop since the aftermath of the 1987 stock crash on October 22, 1987. The benchmark 10-year Treasury note yield fell, settling at 3.543%. However, treasuries are still yielding favorable returns in this high interest rate environment, but the recent wavering was a good reminder that things can take a turn at any moment. As this chart shows, changes in interest rates affect treasuries, and for the first time in over a decade, 
investors can generate some reasonable interest on short-term securities like treasury bills and money markets. Volatility has been very prevalent in what is typically a less volatile sector for investors. Bonds are typically a good option for a conservative, diversified, and well-balanced portfolio as they are usually more stable than stocks. If you'd like to explore how bonds could fit into your retirement income strategy, please contact us so we can help you make the best decision for your portfolio. However, the window of opportunity may be narrowing to get lower risk, higher yielding bonds if the feds decide to cut rates, as bond prices and interest rates move in the opposite direction. Safety comes with a cost and many major banks are still aver averaging low interest rates to savers. According to Barron's, the average bank money market rates on April 4th, 2023 were still only 0.32% and the average 12 month CD rate was 1.61%. While higher than a year ago, these are still very low returns. Economic news remains mixed. Food prices are still increased and geopolitical uncertainty is still a concern. However, the U.S. job market remains very strong, so there are bright spots. We stand by our belief that investing in equities is a long-term commitment. Investors can expect to continue to face a challenging market environment and the need to look at long-term stability and quality. Practicing patience and proceeding with caution are key to your financial savviness. Multiple factors remain key players in the direction of equity markets, most particularly the continuation of rising interest rates and speculation of if, how long, and how deep of a recession the U.S. and global economy could see in 2023 and beyond. As your financial professional, we're committed to keeping you apprised of any changes and activity that could directly affect you and your unique situation. Seasoned investors understand that equities are long-term investments and that long-term investing is not linear and it requires patience and discipline. As a recap of quarter one, here are some things to remember. It's likely we will possibly see at least one more interest rate hike. The cost of borrowing is still elevated. Don't forget to continue to pay down any debt that you may have and try not to incur any more during the higher interest rate environment. It is always wise to live within your means and minimize any borrowing, but it is recommended now more than ever. Review all income producing investments and as uncertainty remains, remember a well-balanced portfolio should be designed to have resilience in times of volatility. On troublesome days, it can be helpful to avoid too much exposure to the media and the news. News reports and headlines are largely intended to incite fear and ruffle the feathers of even the calmest of investors. Media magnification can cause anxiety and even cause investors to make emotionally charged decisions, which typically are not the wisest. This is an ideal time to practice patience and to remain focused on your personal long-term goals. The current bear market looks like it could continue. Just remember that bear markets are part of the investing experience. How long this bear market will last is yet to be seen. Interest rates are still on the rise. Refocusing and revamping your budget now could provide direction and clarity on where your money is going, what is a necessary expense, and what is discretionary in this new year. Having a solid investment strategy is an integral part of a well-devised, holistic financial plan. We help clients create a well-crafted plan customized for their unique situation and goals that takes into consideration how each client will react to the ups and downs. We consider many variables including your time horizon, tax impl implications, liquidity needs, risk tolerance, and overall personal objectives. Again, caution should still be the principal notion for investors. And we feel that the best strategy is to stay the course and focus on long-term investing strategies. And as always, we are here for you. As stewards of your wealth, 
We are here to help you pursue your goals. If you'd like to revisit your financial plan or discuss any concerns or ideas, please call our office or bring them up at your next scheduled meeting. This quarter, Berkshire Hathaway CEO Warren Buffett published his annual letter to shareholders. The letter has been heralded as gospel for decades among investors eager to pick the brain of one of the most successful investors of all time who sits amongst the richest people in the world. His 2023 letter reinforced his views that investing is long term and that his secret sauce is time. He says there is a lesson for investors. The weeds wither away in significance as the flowers bloom. He quoted his business partner, fellow billionaire Charlie Munger, who said on a recent podcast that the world is full of foolish gamblers and they will not do as well as the patient investor. He specifically shared that we count on the American tailwind and though it has been become from time to time, its propelling force has always returned. I've been investing for 80 years, more than one third of our country's lifetime. Despite our citizens' penchant, almost enthusiasm for self-criticism and self-doubt, I have yet to see a time when it made sense to make a long-term bet against America. And I doubt very much that any reader of this letter will have a different experience in the future. When it comes to investing, discipline and patience can be very rewarding. We're very grateful for our clients and appreciate the opportunity to partner with you in your financial journey. One of our goals is to help more people just like you. The best compl compliment is a referral. Some of our best clients will refer to us by existing clients. If you know someone you think may benefit from our services, we would appreciate their contact information so we can add them to our distribution list to receive our newsletters and so we can invite them to attend our presentations. Again, thank you for your business. One of our primary goals is to keep clients informed and we appreciate you watching our update.